Welcome to the desktop publishing course using Scribus. Scribus is similar to Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, and MS Publisher. But Scribus is free, open source, and available to anyone around the world. Scribus, along with this course, runs on a Mac, PC, and Linux operating systems. This course was six months in the making from initial concept through to research, to organization, to exercise development, to course notes development, all the way through to final production. In addition to learning Scribus, you will also learn general concepts and tips and tricks in desktop publishing, including a case study of how to self-publish your own magazine. Desktop publishing is used in a wide range of publications and documents. Here are some of the topics I cover in this course. Introduction, getting started, images, text, advanced text, objects and shapes, advanced Scribus, printing and output, Scribus versus InDesign, and part nine, a bonus, how to self-publish your own magazine. This course is designed for the beginner and intermediate levels. This course was designed from the perspective of a digital artist and the managing editor of GIMP magazine. Let's have a peek at two quick demos. All right, let's create a magazine cover using Scribus. I'm going to add an image frame here, and I'm going to make sure it overlaps with some of the other features of the magazine here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder where the cover image is. I'm going to drag and drop that into the image frame. I'm going to right click on that and adjust image to the frame itself. I'm going to move that to the background. Then I'm going to place it within that area for the image itself. Move it down and to the right and get it to look the way I want it. And then I'm going to click preview and this is how it will look in its final output. Alright, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a calendar using Scribus. A calendar that looks something like this, with images, months, days, and day numbers. So I'm using Scribus 141 here. I'm going to launch it. I'm just going to accept the defaults of OK. And I'm going to use a script here. Scribus has a number of scripts loaded. I'm going to use the calendar wizard script. And I'm going to make sure this is an English calendar even though it does support other languages. I'm going to go whole year and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to say accept the defaults again to a single page and it's created this document for me. Now it may look empty but when I scroll down it's going to show me the months of the year. And there it is. And it's created all 12 months of 2013 for us. Now what I can do is I can change the fonts and I can change the images that are inside those calendars. So let me show you how to do that. I've pre-created some of the styles that are used within this document. So the beautiful thing about Scribus is that it uses styles and it uses it quite well. So I'm going to import these styles. And I'm just going to select the right document here. And now I'm going to select the styles I want. I'm going to check them all because in the, and then I'm going to check just the ones that I want here. Date, weekday, month, week number, and that's it. And I want to make sure that I replace the existing files. And in just one click of OK, it automatically replaced all 12 months, every single element in that calendar, just like that. Amazing job. And that's the beauty of using styles in Scribus. Now the next step I have to do is basically go in and change the images. The images have been set up on a separate layer here. Scribus supports layers of course. And I have an image that I want to add. So let's add the month of January into this calendar. Perfect. Now I'm going to just size it up, adjust the image to frame, and basically that's it. That's how easy it is to create a calendar in Scribus. So here's what you get with this course. Number one, 
you get this interactive readme guide. This comes with a built-in navigation system to move you from one section to the next and all of the links are hyperlinked to make your learning experience more convenient. This interactive readme guide also includes relevant definitions and a full index to the entire course. Number two, you get 94 pages of printable course notes. Number three, you get an online interactive version of the 94 page course notes with hyperlinks and a navigation system built in. Number four, you get five hours and 51 minutes of high definition 720p videos that include theory, examples, step-by-step -step exercises, and step-by-step -step video walkthroughs. There are a total of 32 videos at roughly 10 minutes in length each. Number five, you get 15 exercise folders, including project data, so that you can do each exercise at your own speed and follow the course notes or step-by-step -step videos. This includes roughly 100 files, which amounts to about 300 megabytes of data. Number six, you also get four demo folders. These are quick and easy demos to get you started with Scribus. Number seven, I offer a basic level of email support if you get stuck along the way. And number eight, all of this and more is available as a digital download, quick, easy, and immediate. Number nine, you can purchase this course via PayPal or credit card. Upon purchase confirmation, I send you an email containing the digital download link. It is as simple as that. Oh, and one more thing. This course was created using Scribus. The interactive readme guide, the interactive and printable course notes, and all of the slides used for video production were all created using Scribus. If you want to learn free and open source Scribus and desktop publishing, this is possibly the most comprehensive course available.